All right, so this is just a quick follow-up lesson to my other lesson on blinding lights by the weekend. Somebody asked me if there was a way you could play it without having to play that B minor bar chord. So in the other lesson and in this lesson, you just got capo on one. And the way I was playing it before with the bar chord is like this. got E minor to B minor bar chord, D to A. So if you want to replace that B minor, that second chord, with a non-bar chord, what you can do is this. So you'll be on that E minor, index finger, second fret of A, middle finger, second fret of D. Okay. So when you go to switch to the B minor, you just bring your middle finger down one string and set it on second fret of the G. Then you're going to add your ring finger here on 3rd fret of the B. Now if you can, try to mute out the low E string. Uh, you could use the top of your index finger that's pressing down on the 2nd fret of A, or you can try to use your thumb a little bit over the top to mute the E, or, and then also just try not to focus your strum on that low E string as much. But you get this chord. Okay. So it's, it's probably not quite as hard as playing a bar chord B minor. But it also sounds different. It's like a way different voicing. I think it sounds kind of cool. And it also makes it easier to switch to that D chord. Because if you'll notice, your ring finger's on third fret of B. And all you gotta do is hop your index finger and your middle finger down two strings. So your index finger just jumps down to second fret of G, middle finger, second fret of high E. So see that's, there's your B minor, or your, your new B minor voicing, and then to the D. So it kinda makes that switch easier. So let's hear what that sounds like through the progression um, with the new B minor chord. So I hope that helps you in case you didn't want to play that B minor bar chord. You can play that different voicing there. So it, sound, it definitely, I think it sounds cool. It sounds a little different. So give that a try. It's still kind of a difficult chord. The B minor is just a hard chord to substitute. So if any of you have any ideas, go ahead and share them in the comments section. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my original lesson on this song, and I'll see you on the next video.